So we've got to just bear that in mind when we're trying to figure out what to do into this price area here, right? We've got to figure this out. So for me, it's got to be a bottom edge. It's You've got to be into that bottom edge because we've got smart money selling. And therefore, if we can't get a low price, I don't want any price. We get a bottom edge. We get the level two liquidity. You get the opportunity to then take advantage of the fact that we know the smart money is short. So you're able to then buy at that low price or that Heisman price at 80s, pay maybe 85 for the trade. And then, of course, this higher bid opens the door to a very high probability that we may just scalp through at that stage. It looks like we're going to 75s. Disappointed that the value then collapses against that 75 idea. And obviously, we're now starting to watch this as a storyline here. And again, we're just obviously watching it's got to be done on the go. It's not something you're forecasting. You were obviously looking at a possibility that this big pop here was going to take you to 75, no problem. And then two or three minutes later, you're suddenly looking at it from the point of view of, I think that's us probably finished for a profit of about $400, $450 a contract on that deal at that stage. So a little bit disappointing, you know, when you started to see that trade coming in. So it gave you an opportunity just to bag up your monies and say thank you very much, 400 450 $500, it's okay. We'll be in classroom, guys, in half an hour.